Welcome back. So today we are going to get some underlay here. This is the underlay we're using. Now this is household stuff. Why am I using it in a car? Because it's fantastic and it's cheap. It's about 10 mil thick. As you can see, it's textile stuff all mixed, chewed up together and made into a big sheet. It's lovely and soft. Nice flat size for good for the gluing down. Um, yeah, I'll stick the link in the description from where I got it from. This is the same stuff that I used in the Mark II. Um, and yeah, it's fantastic stuff. Anyway, let's get on with the rest of it. Before we do, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. So as you've just seen, what you want to do is spray some form of carpet, glue, vinyl glue, same sort of stuff, on both sides, so on the floor and on the carpet. Give it a few minutes to start to get tacky and then stick it down. Once that's nicely stuck down, it should look something like this. Obviously, I'll trim this little bit off on the top right. That bit there, that's all you need to do really. Now we get on the other side. Again, get some glue sprayed down, both sides give it a few minutes, and stick a bit of underlay down. Simple as that. And same again with the rear sections under the rear carpet. Glue, bit of carpet, and we're all done. Once we're all done with all the underlay, we can then get our lovely clean front carpet back in. Now, as I said before in the previous videos, just a good pressure washing is all these really need. If you've got some really bad staining, get some good cleaner on it. But this came up lovely. So the carpet back in and now we can focus on this very common problem this fuel fill and exit port obviously you can see all the stain and the dirt and dust around it that should get flinged up from the car over the years so this didn't take much to come off as it most of it was rust As you can see, slight difference between the old one and a replacement part. So all we're going to do is just put it up there, see what we think, drill some holes in it and then uh, weld it on. Now these are available from a couple of people, I'll stick it in the description. As you can see these only fit one way. So on the left hand side now you can see it's got a slight curve to fit and mould the body. Get it in the right place and weld it on. As you can see, we're drilling some holes because we need something to weld it to, as in weld through. Obviously, these are spot welded from the factory. We're not going to get spot welded in the area, so drill some holes, just enough, so you can get a weld. And as you can see, that looks a lot better than it did before. So it's all been welded on, etch primed, and then a good bit of seam sealer to keep it protected, because this area is going to get covered in everything. I didn't really get any videos of welding on because it's quite awkward. Now those big holes in a minute will show you what we need to do with those. Again, when you're welding something, think outside the box, think about where the weld's going. Obviously we welded on the inside, it's burnt off the paint on the inside, blah blah blah. So 
etch prime seam sealer, let it dry and then we've got some stone chip on to keep the protection from inside. And there we go, stone chipped from underneath, looking lovely and tidy. So the big holes I said about, what we need is some underbully sealer, whatever make you've got. What you want is a little tube which has got a brass bit in the end with little holes in it so it shoots wax out up that way or forward all directions. And get the little end, shove it inside the bigger holes and just fill it up until it's leaking out, like that. And that will give it its protection. As you can see, we've had to take a lot of uh, cuts out of this. It has been rewilded before, poorly. As you can see, they haven't bothered to uh, take the time to actually re-wax where the wild has gone too. So yeah, lots cut out. Um, what I want to try and do is make one big sort of patch, which can wild on here, and then I can mirror that on the other side. Even though the other side's not as bad, it's nice to have both sides as simple as possible, really. Anyway, this side, the wing the arch panel didn't need our welding up there, it was just you know, loads of etch primer and some seam sealer. I've gone along the bottom lip of here, again removing the old seam sealer, putting some new on, and then we've started on the inside of here, so all up in those nooks and crannies around there, all over the back of there, so all the loose stuff has come off. Um, the other dark stuff you can see is etch primer, so again we'll let that set, and then once that's set it'll have stone chip on, and again just on those little bits, I've done a bit there. All we're trying to do is future-proof this car without costing a fortune. And there we go, stone chip on. So that's as far as we can go on that bit there. Looking much better. Plenty more to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for watching.